Hello, YouTubers and fellow hams. Well, it's another chilly winter morning out here in the desert, hence the hood. Uh, it's the holiday season, and uh, because of that, I've been taking a short little break for the last uh, couple of days, not doing much with the channel, just trying to relax a bit. But uh, yesterday, I learned something that I thought was really interesting, and I figured I'd share it with you. Let's go to the computer. This is a relay. Uh, we call it a relay, but why do we call it a relay? I always wondered that, and yesterday I learned uh, why we call it a relay. So what is a relay? Well, a relay is an electromagnetically operated switch. It allows a relatively low voltage coming in down here to control a much higher voltage or current. Uh, what happens is your low voltage creates a magnetic field here on this core and that magnetic field then pulls in this metal arm and when it pulls that in that pushes uh, up here because of a pivot that pushes up here and it will switch this contact from one point to another point. Uh, these are very useful devices, obviously. We use them all over the place. They're in everything in your... In every appliance in your house will probably have a relay uh, to control motors, usually, or like in your microwave oven to turn on and off the uh, transformer that's going to feed the uh, power, you know, to the microwave and so on. Um, with a single transistor, uh, an Arduino, uh, a microcontroller chip, can control this low voltage signal down here and therefore control a much higher current and voltage signal up here. So very useful devices, and we call them relays. So again, why do we call them relays? Well, we owe that to good old Samuel Morse. Yeah, father of Morse code, and the father of the modern tele or the <laughs> modern then telegraph system back in the uh, late 1980s. The telegraph system uh, used a uh, code key at each end, uh, to operate a uh, magnetic switch or to send a signal down a line to another magnetic switch or sounder. Now, these sounders just made a clackety-clack sound, you know, so you'd push the key down here, uh, the guy at the other end of the line would hear a clack, you know, and then uh, the rhythm and the timing of the clacks uh, allowed messages to be sent in Morse code. Continental Morse code initially, later international Morse code was developed to uh, standardize it for communication between countries. And the telegraph system uh, stretched wires between poles between um, points uh, where you'd have a telegraph office. Eventually this telegraph system uh, went all the way across the continent and allowed messages to be sent from one coast to the other. Quite revolutionary at the time. That was a big deal. Um, but it had a problem. It had a limitation. Between stations, you had to have these long wire runs, right? And if we go back here to the telegraph, um, basic you know, schematic, this long wire run was a limiting factor. DC current over electrical wires will fall off over distance due to resistance in the wire. So there was a limit to how far these stations had to be apart, or could be apart. Um, they had to be so close. And that meant multiple stations um, along the way, right? And, and probably, even though we see a long wire run here across the state, there was probably multiple stations um, along that run. So that's a problem. Um, each of those stations would have a telegraph operator that uh, would sit there and uh, uh, record or write down the message that's coming in and then turn around and resend it down the wire to the next station. And each of these operators then, uh, you know, you had, to, you had to feed them, you had to house them, you had to pay them. Uh, so there must have been a, an easier way to uh, do this. And uh, good old Morse came up with something. He designed the Morse relay. 
Aha, look at that. And it looks very much like our modern relay. We've got a magnetic coil here, an armature that gets pulled over by the magnetic field here, and then a switch contact that is made by that armature. Uh, and so Morse uh, developed this and built it. There it is here. Uh, oh, one side note. This kind of looks like uh, this makes contact on both sides, right? Uh, this side here would be an ivory tipped bolt, so that would be an insulator. Uh, but anyway, Morse built this to uh, eliminate uh, that operator station and allow a message to be relayed through this down the wire. And he called it the relay because it was relaying messages and the name just kind of stuck. And today we still call our electromagnetic switches relays. How about that? We owe that to good old Samuel Morse. Hope you found that interesting and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.